video lecture is going to answer question two of a recent exchange rate quiz that I gave my year two IB economics students. Let's look at the question and then we'll get into the answer. The question is, the current exchange rate of the Brazilian real in China is 4 RMB per real. The Brazilian government wishes to weaken the value of its currency, in other words devalue it, to 3 RMB per real. Part A asks to identify two methods the Brazilian government or the central bank can use to achieve this objective of a weaker Brazilian real. The first part of this question should be fairly simple then. All we need to do is identify two methods that a government or central bank could use to weaken its currency. In fact, there are three ways a government can intervene in the foreign exchange market to weaken its currency. Since we're talking about the Brazilian central bank here, the first thing the Brazilian central bank could do is buy large quantities of Chinese currency on the forex markets. By doing so, the Brazilian government would essentially be increasing the supply of Brazilian currency on the forex markets. Since the Brazilian central bank is using its own currency to buy up the currency of the Chinese economy, the Chinese currency will get stronger relative to the Brazilian real and therefore the Brazilian real will become weaker. A second option that the central bank has is to lower domestic interest rates. Of course, the Brazilian central bank can use expansionary monetary policies to do this. Increasing the domestic money supply will lower the interest rate on domestic investments in Brazil. This should decrease the demand for Brazilian real in China and therefore devalue it against the Chinese currency. The third option which we can mention is exchange controls. If the Brazilian government wishes to weaken its own currency, one thing it could do is limit the investment from foreign countries within its own country. Reducing or limiting the amount of foreign investment in Brazil will reduce the demand for Brazilian real and weaken it against other currencies including the Chinese RMB. These three options are available to the Brazilian central bank or the Brazilian government to weaken its own currency against the Chinese RMB. By pursuing any of these three options we should see the Brazilian real devalue or depreciate in the market for Brazilian real in China. This of course will make Brazilian exports more competitive and allow Brazilian producers to compete with Chinese producers in the market for goods and services. Part B says, assuming Brazil is successful, illustrate and explain the effect of the intervention that you identified above on the market for Brazilian real. Let's look at our graph here and see what would happen if the Brazilian central bank were to buy large quantities of Chinese currency on the forex market using its own currency. Before we illustrate the effects of these interventions, we need to, we need to label our graph for Brazilian real in China. Since we're talking about the market for real, the vertical axis or the exchange rate axis should be labeled RMB per real. In this case, we'll see the exchange rate of the Brazilian real in terms of RMB. And we know already that at the current equilibrium, the exchange rate is 4 RMB per real. Since we're talking about the market for real here, we can label our curves supply real, demand real, and the quantity of real demanded and supplied. Our equilibrium quantity will simply label QE. Now what will happen if the Brazilian central bank buys large quantities of Chinese currencies using its own currency on the forex markets? Predictably, an increase in demand for Chinese RMB will lead to a large increase in the supply of Brazilian real as we see here. Since Brazilian real are now less scarce on foreign exchange markets, the value of the Brazilian real will fall against the Chinese RMB. Of course, this was the desired consequence of the central bank's intervention. Assuming it was successful, the increase in supply of Brazilian real on the forex market will devalue the real to the desired exchange rate of 3 Chinese RMB per real. In this way, through intervention in the forex markets, the Brazilian central bank has successfully brought down the value of its own currency. Part B also asks for the effect of this intervention on the market for Chinese RMB in Brazil. So let's scroll down and look at what would happen to the market for Chinese RMB. First, of course, we need to label our graph. Since we're now talking about the market for Chinese RMB, our vertical or exchange rate axis can be labeled real per RMB. 
the supply curve can be called supply RMB, demand is D RMB, we've got the horizontal axis which we'll label Q RMB, and it's a simple calculation to find the exchange rate of RMB. Looking at our original graph we know that one Brazilian real costs four RMB, therefore one Chinese RMB costs one over four or 0 0.25 Brazilian real. And the equilibrium quantity will simple, simply label QE. Now when the, ch when the Brazilian central bank buys large quantities of Chinese currency, as we saw happen here, this should lead to an increase in the supply of Brazilian real. At the same time, we should see the demand for Chinese RMB increase. In this way, the Chinese RMB appreciates or gets stronger against the Brazilian real. The increase in demand for RMB causes the RMB to appreciate in Brazil. We'll now have a new quantity of RMB that's greater than our original RMB due to the central bank's demand for Chinese currency, and the new exchange rate will simply be the inverse of the exchange rate for the Brazilian real, which as we see is 1 over 3. So 1 divided by 3 will give us the value of the RMB in Brazilian real, which will be 0 0.33. Let's add that to our graph below. We see that the increase in demand for Chinese RMB resulting from the Brazilian central bank's intervention in the forex market causes the Chinese RMB to go up in value from 0 0.25 real per RMB to 0 0.33 real per RMB. In this way, the Brazilian central bank has successfully intervened in the forex market for its own currency by increasing the supply of Brazilian real on forex markets causing the Brazilian real to depreciate. At the same time, the increase in demand for Chinese RMB has caused the Chinese RMB to appreciate. The Chinese RMB is now a stronger currency, making Chinese goods less attractive to Brazilian consumers, yet the Brazilian real is now a weaker currency, making Brazilian goods more attractive to Chinese consumers and other consumers from around the world who may wish to buy more Brazilian goods now therefore increasing net exports for Brazil and contributing to aggregate demand, employment, and economic growth in Brazil.